super nice. The hula girl in the foreground, the ocean in the background. Simple idea, but the way it's laid out just brings it home. Dave. I love the composition of the lettering, cutting the postcard kind of in half, and you have the bridge on one side and the falls on the other. It's undeniable what it is that we're looking at, and as far as hitting the postcard feel, you do. Tyler. I think he did a great job here. Without the word Arizona, you still get a very descriptive postcard feel. The composition's very nice. The cactus in the foreground with the iconic images sliding back, it's very easy to read, solid job. Chris. This is a classic postcard look. The words swooping through nicely. The simple composition, I think, stands out very strong. This is what defines being able to see a bit of everything. You really knock it out of the park with this scene. Thank you. I know my tattoo looks bright. You got this one in the bag. Craig. You could have left a little bit more gap between some of the letters, especially in the word city. I have to tell you, man, I got a problem with the apple. That looks like a big cherry or a plum. The New York City apple symbol is a very distinct apple shape. What is this tattoo? You have bubble letters and a weird shaped apple. This is a New York City postcard, are you kidding me? All right guys, we're testing composition with postcard tattoos. Let's talk about the top of the day. One of my favorites was Matt. His being black and gray really stood out strong. There's a beautiful symmetry that really accents that lettering. He really did a nice job. Cruzman did the Wyoming tattoo. The composition is really strong. The Devil's Tower in the background that has that graphic postcard looking imagery. It has a beautiful balance. Overall, I think it's nice. Dynamically, I really like Chris's. He really captured that block lettering. Even on the darker skin, it was still really bright and vibrant. He nailed this. You guys want to let him know? Yeah. All right, cool. Today, you had to give your canvases a permanent souvenir of their Live Moss adventure. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Matt. Thank you guys. This tattoo just stands out really strong. You really showed us something that we haven't seen from you already. That really smooth black and gray. Bullsh my tattoo is better than Matt's. My tattoos are on fire right now. I'm on top of this game. Matt, you'll have the power to assign all human canvases for the elimination tattoo. I've been waiting on this moment for the entire competition. I'm definitely gunning for Chris. He's giving me some canvases, and it's time for me to pay that back. Head back to the loft and prepare for the next elimination tattoo. Ink Master, Master vs. Apprentice. New episodes Tuesdays at 10, or watch it now on the Spike app. Today, you had to tattoo head to head with our guest judge. Mike is a master of Japanese tattooing. Let's see what you're up against.